Hi, my name is David Ehler. I'm an attorney here in Charleston, South Carolina. And today I'd like to tell you about a few myths that are often associated with alcohol consumption. Many times individuals go out and drink alcohol in excess. However, they then make a terrible decision to get behind the wheel. Prior to driving, they'll often try various activities in order to sober up before driving. Often you'll hear people discussing drinking water or coffee or energy drinks prior to getting behind the wheel after consuming alcohol, or perhaps going and having a big meal after drinking at a late night diner or some other place. And finally, sleeping it off, trying to sleep for a number of hours after drinking alcohol excessively in order to sober up. Ultimately though, none of these things actually work. Your body processes alcohol due to a number of different circumstances, such as your age, your weight, your sex, and even your race. What doesn't affect it is how much water you drink after consuming alcohol, how much food you eat after consuming alcohol, or how much you sleep. The process is going to take a number of hours and those are going to be specific to the individual and their chemical makeup. Drinking more water, eating more food, or sleeping more hours is not going to lessen the effects of alcohol after you've consumed an excessive amount. The most important thing you can do is to make sure you don't get behind the wheel because no amount of water, no amount of sleep, or no amount of food is going to make it legal for you to drive after drinking excessively. My name is David Ayler and I appreciate you watching this video. If you like it, please click like and or share with your friends. You can also reach me for any further questions or comments at 843-577-5530 or on the web at www.davidaylor.com. Thanks for watching.